Hey YouTube, what's up? So, running. Uh, I know I haven't talked about it in a while though. I do want to mention one thing though, and it's kind of one thing that I really don't want to talk about too much, but I'll just get it off my chest. It is uh, what's been going on at the uh, Nike Oregon project, of course in Eugene, Oregon, where pretty much best uh, distance runners, U.S. distance runners gather together as a team and try to dominate competing against the best in the world. All with the help of Nike and also coaching or the coach of Albert Del Salazar. Well, I don't know very much about you know what the details of these allegations that have been coming up, but it pretty much has to do with breaking some rules and doping and, you know, drugs, steroids, performance handling drugs, you know, testosterone, EPO, you know, any kind of HGH hormone, advancements to aid you in your athletic performance you know, so you could do better, so, and these drugs, now, personally, I've never, di I've never taken drugs, I never will, I don't see a reason to, and it just doesn't fly with me, though, in competition, though, you go out, and you give it the best of what you were born with, so, your genetics, what you're capable of doing, you give it 100%, as much as you can, you know, there are some people that just want the little edge, so they want a little more. Because, yes, in fact, these drugs do work, and they can make you better than you've ever been. You can be superhuman. I've never seen them before. You know, like, a, ooh, look, EPO. No, no, just, uh, but I've heard people that have been on it. I know some people, well, few probably you count them like three, that have tried it. And that I've been around people that have been on it, and they said the benefits are unreal. Like, it literally turns a switch on you, and you, like, become superhuman. You run faster, longer, you recover quicker, you feel great all the time, you're stronger, you can jump higher, further, throw things farther. It, and it's just not in track and field, though. It's other sports as well. Whatever athletic movement that you do, it enhances that. Probably double or more. And it's just... It's ridiculous, though. And I could see why a lot of people would get caught up in that, though. And just... It could be an addiction. Because they want more of it. They see results and they get addicted. They want more and more and more. I never agreed with that. And still to this day, I don't. But what really fucks me up, and that I really hate, is those athletes that are role models to kids around the world, you know, that kids look up to, saying that you gotta, you gotta work hard, you know, play by the rules, and you'll achieve anything, and they fucking lie to everyone just so... They don't tarnish their reputation, though. They don't want to hurt their ego. That's why I have a, a big problem with, like, Lance Armstrong, you know? Okay, sure, he was the best cyclist that was juicing, because all the other cyclists were juicing as well. Yeah, but the fucker lied! You know, I hate people that constantly lie, just because I've been around it my whole entire life. Where people lie, 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 straight up fucking lie to your face, and, and you believe it. And then you find out later that it was all fake. I mean, not, none of it was true. You know, and that for me fucked me up mentally, though. It really fucked me up mentally. And I'm like, what is the problem with being honest in who you are? You know, if you can't do this or that, 
Okay, you can't do it though. What, what is there like an, a certain ego thing that like you have to do it? To be honest with you, no one's gonna give a shit on athletic performance. I mean, whether it's running, cycling, swimming, or whatever the hell you do, regardless if you're a professional. But when professionals have a following, I guess that's 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 what they care about, and they want to achieve that status of fame. Which I think it's, wow, I, I don't know, it's just, because when it's all said and done, after you're done or tired, it's like, you're going to be a has-been, you know? It's like, alright, move up, move on. Big deal, whoop de do. I mean, I mean, when you go, who's just going to be there? Only, only, uh, family and close friends, and that's it. Just, I mean, I, I know, I understand, like, certain legacies of people are much greater than others, so, I mean, Steve Prefontaine. You know, it's been 40 years, back in May, May 30th was his 40th anniversary of when he died. So, uh, whether, you know, it's speculation of just drunk driving or not, because he did have alcohol in the system, but that's just a whole other story that I'm, I'm really not going to get into. But, it's just a problem with me, these athletes are role models, and they lie saying that they're clean, and they know that they're not, so... I mean, what, what are you teaching these kids? Is, is that taking performance enhancing drugs is okay? I mean, it's... I don't know, I, I just never agreed with it. I... I don't agree with it now. I never will. And, um, you're just sending the wrong message to those that do things the right way without cheating and work hard. And you find out, man, times are, you know, performance times just getting slower, though. Or maybe, well, well, competition, though, it's much greatly, though. It wasn't like one person was just dominating, though. There is dominance in some people, but it seems like it's not as much as before. But I think there's still some world records out there, especially in running, that are not clean. Yes, I absolutely do, though. I'm not going to get into that, but I do believe there's some current world records for both men and women that are not clean. Not clean at all. And it just... Oh, it just fucking boils my blood. And I know they're not clean. And people who follow the sport, who have some knowledge of the sport, know the same thing and agree 100% with what I'm saying right now. I'm not sad, I'm just fucking mad and frustrated because this bullshit is going on. But it's it's gonna surface and you know, I love running. I'm never gonna stop. I'm gonna run until my body can or until I die. That's how much I love it. I'm never gonna be a world record holder, some professional, I'm never gonna get fame through it, but I'm going to do it for as long as I can in my, for my whole entire life. And I'm going to enjoy every fucking second, every single step of the way through that journey. So, I'm going to say, I lived a damn good life. A clean life. I, I, I didn't brag about, ooh, I could do it fast. I mean, yeah, when I was younger, a little younger, yeah, I was, you know, I was constantly like, it's like I want to get faster though, so I can show everyone this and that and that. And, but what I find out, like, a few years later after that, that doesn't matter. And when you don't get to it, it you're going to be so stressed about it, and it's just like, is it really worth it? No, it's not. So, you just get out there, you run, you have a good time, and that's all it is, though. So just having a good time and enjoying yourself, regardless of what time do you get, or how, what others think about it, because that's not going to all matter when your time is... So to these athletes that are not clean and they're in the sports, you know, for athletics, and they're, they have these sponsors, Nike, you know, Reebok, Adidas, Brooks, whatever, whatever your sponsor is, and they have a big following, just listen to this. After it's all said and done, no one's going to give a shit. That's, that's the basic fact. No one's going to give a shit. No. And that's, that's true, though. I mean, 
Well, I mean, I could say, like, runners from the 70s that were, at that time, legends, that now it's like, if I name, okay, who's Frank Short or Bill Rogers to the average American out here, wherever, wherever I go, whether it's a mall, DMV, airport, doesn't matter. They're going to be like, who the fuck is that? I don't know, you know, like, some of the best. American marathoners in the world for like back then though you know Frank Shorter gold medalist 1972 Munich Games silver medalist in 76 Montreal even though he should have fucking won gold because the guy who won gold in Montreal was a fucking cheater asshole but you know Bill Rogers one time currently was a world record holder in marathon Won Boston, New York, more than once, so was known for ridiculous high mileage. I mean, yeah, I mean, in Boston, he, in the community running there, he's still pretty well known, but, like, if you go to the expos and stuff, who usually gets the attention? Not him. No, no. Probably, well, probably someone like Dean Carnassus, though. But Dean Carnassus is somebody who's got a personality. I'm not saying that having a personality is a bad thing, though. He's got that kind of ego that is helping him, though. There's egos that can help you and hurt you. Well, for him, he's helping it. He find out. He finds out what has worked for him, and he's striving on that. So I'm not gonna hate on Dean for that. Others will, and guess what? That's them. But anyways, um, yeah, it's just. After a certain generation has passed, I mean, for example, I mean, if I could say, who's Galen Rupp? Uh, no, and masses are, uh, people are not going to know. Or who's Dathan Ritson? I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe. I mean, you get some, something, though. But if I could say Matthew Tagenkamp, uh, well, I don't know. It's like Ben True, who is, like, killing it right now, which I have him number one right now, I think, in the U.S. for 5K and 10K. And I think he's going to beat Galen Rupp at national, so you fucking watch. You know, if I name those kind of people, it's like that. Or, okay, for women, Shalane Flanagan. Mm, not quite. You know, Tara Goucher. Uh, well, you know, it's like... Because if I say, okay, Allison Felix, yeah, you, you might get that, but she does sprinting. So, okay, and then for men for sprinting, besides, what, Usain Bolt... If I could say Justin Gatlin, I'm uh, not sure, but hey, he was banned because he did test positive. He was juicing for a little bit, though. So, and LaShawn Merritt, yeah, you know, just, yeah. Or, you know, or David Radisha. You know, he's coming back, though. He did great in New York yesterday. Also been true, by the way. Yeah, not many people are going to know that, though. So, for athletes now that are currently, you know, in the sport... Stop the fucking doping and work hard and do things the right way, though. If you get beat, if you don't run times as fast as you do, okay, then. Then you just found out what your actual potential was, though. And just go with that. Anyways, that is my long rant, and I am done for today. So, <laughs> I had to get it off my fucking chest, and I did. So... You could agree with me, you could not agree with me. I don't give a rat's patoot asshole. Alright. Oh boy. I'm done talking. Probably AC turned down a little bit. Maybe you could hear me better now. I don't know. Have a good Sunday, folks.